right, we're going to get started. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're excited to be here with our partners, Catholic Charities and Greg Mashburn and Life Bridge Centers for Hope and Marty and our Safe Streets family and staff uh, for the third year in a row. Uh, we are here to kick off Safe Streets Summer, Safe Summer Programming. Well, I think folks, uh, most folks don't know about Safe Streets, that it does more than just mediate conflicts. Safe Streets really is a community institution that implements violence uh, intervention strategies in real life time, in real time, and strategies that are proactive and preventative. Safe Summer is about uh, providing our residents, youth, families, and adults alike with outlets for fun and opportunity during the summer months and efforts to keep our neighborhoods peaceful and the part of our Baltimore community violence intervention ecosystem. Uh, what we're here to do today is to kick that off for Baltimore. You can expect these events to continue, activities to continue, resources available throughout June, July, August, and September for everyone to take advantage of. Uh, this is what Safe Streets is all about. So to my Safe Streets family, I want to again say I love you, I appreciate you, I see you, I recognize the hard work that you do each and every day. Despite uh, for some folks who don't understand the work that you do each and every day and that you save lives in Baltimore each and every day and you prevent people from losing their life each and every day, I see you and most importantly, your community see you. So thank you for what you do each and every day. This city will continue to bring everything to the table to ensure that everyone can feel safe and connected, not just during the summer months, but 365 days of the year. And with that, I will turn it over to our brother Greg, a program director for Catholic Charities. Greg? My name is Greg Marshall, and I'd like to today to proud represent Catholic Charities of Baltimore as we celebrate our 100 years of working with the amazing city of Baltimore. I'm also proud to represent four safe street sites, Sandtown, Penn North, Brooklyn, and Cherry Hill. Catholic Charities is proud to support Brandon Scott and to continue our partnership with Marcy as we look forward to safe and fun summer in our streets. As the, as, as the mayor previously stated, we are more than mediators and violence on the roads. We are men and women who have become mentors of hundreds of youngsters who are looking for guidance on how to avoid conflict and regulate their emotions. The best way to stay positive is, is our staff will be working hard to connect everyone to positive resources that, that will do just that. We are members of the community we serve across Baltimore. We serve co as connectors, vital resources many of our young men and women need. We connect them to employment opportunities, job training, even providing them with resources to complete or further their community education and training training. When the baby formula shortage rocked the nation, we drove across the region to purchase hundreds of cans and gave them away to families desperate to feed their children. We have countless events to enforce our mantra, stop shooting, start living. For family friend cookouts, giveaways like jazz, live jazz, and talks, all the community events are free to promote and build community unity. We look forward to supporting every Safe, safe Summer event and hope members of Baltimore neighborhoods join in and showcasing how safe streets can be when we act together in unity. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank everybody for showing up and coming out today. Uh, I'm extremely honored and pleased to be here today for the Safe Summer kickoff of 2023. Uh, our primary goal is to reduce shooting and homicides, so we're trying to create a platform to do just that. We try to do events throughout the city. My name is Marty. I'm the program manager for Center for Hope under Life Bridge. We have six sites, which is Penn, I mean, which is Lower Park Heights, Upper Belvedere, Franklin Square, Monument, Woodbourne and McCabe, and Bella and Edison. It's going to take a joint effort across the city for all of us to do this work. Violence affects everybody. So until we lean in from a place of love and assist everyone from a place of love, we're going to continue to struggle with this. I just want to humbly request and act that all of you just show up and continue to help us and be a part of what it is that we're trying to do to change the trajectory of the violence because we're really living in a dark time and we need everybody to be a part of this. Thank you all again for coming out. We appreciate you. We're trying to have a great time. Hopefully we're creating a platform to do just that. Thanks again. Thank you both. Before y'all go anywhere, uh, so I am going to do these citations, which there's one for each of you, uh, for each Catholic Charities and Life Bridge, but they're both the same. So on behalf of the citizens of Baltimore, I am pleased to salute uh, Safe Streets, 
in recognition of the third annual Safe Summer Program kickoff, where attendees will enjoy giveaways, horseback riding, face painting, music, food, and more. And during the summer month, Safe Streets has committed to offering events, activities, and resources to all Baltimoreans in an effort to encourage peace and public safety across our neighborhoods. On behalf of the people of Baltimore, I commend you for your continuous dedication to our community. Thank you both. Questions, everyone? Y'all good? Y'all come over here if you want to. You all right? You should be good now, sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Mayor. There you go. Um, day one of the curfews in the books. I know it's way too early to tell numbers or anything like that, but how would you rate day one of the curfews as far as a success level? I'll just say that we, we, we didn't have any major incidents with our young people. We know people got the message, and we're going to continue to work each and every day around curfew as we had in Baltimore for the last 30-something odd years. Anybody else? All right, thank you.